So you're trying to stream your favorite game on Twitch. The only problem is you have a Mac. But don't worry, you still can. And here's how. What you'll need is a Mac, a Twitch.tv account, a game, in this case I'll be using League, Soundflower, and Open Broadcaster Software, or OBS for short. And we'll be starting with OBS because this is your broadcasting tool. Once you've downloaded and installed it, which I'll put the link in the description, you'll be presented with this window. This black screen is what's going to be streamed to your audience. Now, obviously we don't want this, so first we're going to add a scene. You'll still just have a black screen, but now we're going to be able to add sources into this scene. Sources are used to add visuals, such as pictures and text, and most importantly, gameplay. Hit the plus button and go ahead and add Game Capture Siphon. This will open up a window with its properties that we can change. We'll go ahead and check Inject, and then in the Application drop-down menu, scroll until we find the application we're looking for, in this case, LOL Client. Now above this, we hit the Source drop-down menu, and we should find our application. Select this and hit OK, and now we have our first source added. You can add many of these to give your stream personality. Now, if League of Legends is the game that you're going to stream, we're not done yet. If you're not interested in this part, or not interested in learning about setting up multiple scenes, you can go ahead and skip. But for now, if you play League, you know that the game is separate from the client. This means that you'll need to set up an additional scene, one for the client and one for the game itself. So just like you would add a source, go ahead and press the plus button under your scenes and add another scene. Go ahead and add another game capture source, but we're going to need to be in a game to access the application and source. So go ahead and launch a custom game and tab out and go back to your OBS. So you would set that up just like you set up the first one, but with the lead game itself. And then you have it. Now all you need to do is when you start a game, switch over to this scene and vice versa. You can set up a hotkey for this under settings and hotkeys. So you have all your sources set up, everything seems to look perfect, you might think you're ready to go. Now, I hear what some of you might be saying. Well, I can't, but I'll be able to in a minute after we set up the audio. Now under sources, go ahead and press that plus button again, and this time we're going to add audio input capture. Under the drop down menu, select your microphone, and now the audience will be able to hear what you're saying. However, this does not capture your in-game sound, or the sound coming from your computer. This seems to be a part that is glossed over in tutorials and seems a little bit tricky, but I promise you it's easy. The program that you're going to need for this is Soundflower, which again will be in the description. Now Soundflower runs in the background, so you won't ever need to open the application itself. So once that's installed, open up Audio MIDI Setup. Don't worry, you already have it. In the bottom left, you want to click the plus button and create multi-output device. Now select Soundflower and the device that you're going to be listening on. Make sure the master device is Soundflower 2 channel and drift correction is on the device you're using to listen. Now back in OBS, add another source, this time audio output capture, and select your Soundflower. Now all you have to do is, before you go live, go into your system sound settings and select your multi-output device. And there you go. Now you have audio from your mic as well as your computer. All that's left now is to stream. In OBS settings, under stream, you're going to want to select your streaming service as Twitch, select the server closest to you, and go ahead and paste your stream key. You can find your stream key on your twitch.tv dashboard under stream key. And that's it. All that's left to do now is go ahead and hit that start streaming button and you'll be streaming to Twitch. Thanks for watching. My name is Tobias. If you like what I do, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you thought. I'd love to hear it. Thanks.